Welcome back, my name's Teddy, and with my Life of a Shy series, always showing you how to gather, cook, and do alchemy, I haven't really shown how to make money using the golden seals earned from Imperial Crafting. So, today, I'll be showing you how to start making millions using those golden seals from Imperial Cooking. So get your canopy clothes ready and start counting those seals. It's time to start making money using the Imperial Cooking golden seals. After cooking for hours and getting those dishes made into Imperial cook boxes, just make millions alone, turning them in can be enticing, but what if I told you you can make hundreds of millions more using the seals you earn? That's right, the Golden Seal Imperial Cooking is a great way to earn some extra silver on the side or just simply cooking and turning in cook boxes. Taking a look at the seals has a nice list of goodies that can be exchanged for, but for this we're going to be taking a look at the Black Essence Cobalinus. These can be exchanged for 400 seals, but it can be worth it depending on the RNG. Getting more seals can be done once a day with the amount of your contribution points limiting how many boxes that can can be turned in, so be sure to increase your contribution if your limit is too low. Cooking Golden Seals can be taken to pass vendor the Imperial Craft Delivery NPC here in Heidel. Here, you can exchange the seals for whichever reward you choose. As an added bonus, for those who saved all their shining golden seals can still turn them in for the Black Essence Cobalinus too. Really fast, comment down below if you used to use the Black Essences before the seal update, or if you choose to forget about them. With being able to use the seals for Manos too, it has me on the fence on what to do with with my save seals. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life scaling content here on the channel. All the support is appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Now taking a look at the essence, you'll notice there's no value. This is because you'll need other items to combine with this in order to make some money and don't worry though, I'll be showing you and hopefully RNG will be on my side. To do anything with the essence, you'll need to heat one ancient black magic crystal of the same name in this case, I'll need an ancient black magic crystal cobalinus. These can be obtained by killing mobs in the abandoned mine out here in Medea, or can be bought off the central market. Heating both items together will make the Black Magic Crystal Cobalinus. These are nice to sell on their own, but you clicked on this video to see how much you can make, so let's process the crystals down even further and make more money. Each of the Black Magic Crystals can be upgraded further using Simple Alchemy on whichever Black Magic Crystal you're choosing, 10 Magical Shards, and a Forest Fury. Magical Shards can easily be gathered by killing mobs all around Valencia for the sealed Magical Crystals. These then can be heated down to make the magical shards. Yellow grade crystals can also be heated down for the shards too, or the central market can be used to buy both the sealed crystals or any yellow grade crystal needed. As for the forest fairy, these can be obtained by killing monsters out here in the Comisilvia region like Reneros for example. These can also be awarded during some events, login bonuses, and can be bought off the central market too if you aren't as lucky. Once all the materials are ready, it's time to use simple alchemy to combine them all. Processing your crystals further will either give a gin, wand, or bond version of the crystal randomly. This is completely RNG based, but can still make a lot of money. And warning, this is not meant to show you how to make the most money using Imperial cooking seals, nor is it a way to show you how to get them faster. This is just a way to show you how to use the seals if you choose, and you should just enjoy the game at your own pace. But jumping back into this, with the crystals complete, there's another step that can be done to process the lesser wand crystals for more money. For those who made the lesser wand magic crystals, you have another option with these crystals. Taking a look at the crystal, you will need either one combined Magic Crystal Gervish, Hoom, or Makalod, three Garmoth scales, and lastly, any Wan, Bon, or Jin Magic Crystal. Combined crystals can be obtained by killing monsters all around Dragon, with Blood Wolves being a great spot, or can be bought off the central market too. Garmoth scales can be obtained mob grinding all around Dragon too, and sadly cannot be bought off the central market. Now, to increase the amount of money made, I'll be choosing the Gervish crystals, but Makalod crystals can make a little bit less when combined. These can be sold for slightly higher if RNG did and give you any gin or bond crystal. I hope this helps you start getting into cooking more and using those golden seals from Imperial Cooking. Having the ability to make magic crystals to either use or sell is a nice reward for doing those life skills. Turning in the seals for a crystal or just being able to use the crystals you craft makes Imperial Crafting worth the time it takes to do. I've been saving up all my seals and turning them in for various rewards. I might have to start making crystals to sell, but with my crystals always breaking, this is a nice way to keep those precious crystals without needing to spend all the silver replacing them. But as always, if you want to see how to level those life skills faster or just want to start making more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here and I'll see you in the next guide.